started, I'm just about to click record and you should be able to see my screen by now. So let's get going. Okay. So welcome to the webinar this evening. My name's Kerry Fitzgibbon and I'm really excited to have you all here tonight because I'm going to show you the very latest marketing technique that's light years ahead of any other marketing strategy that we've been trying lately. I've been doing it not only in my own business, but that of my clients as well. So some of the results include opt-in rates for free offers have more than doubled using the system I'm going to show you here this evening. Conversion rates for sales have increased anywhere from 2 to 15 fold. And that's even when we've put the price up <laughs> and marketing costs have dropped to less than half and in some cases uh, costs have dropped by over 90 percent which is really really cool but the really great news is it's actually quite simple to implement once you understand the system which is what I'm going to be covering over the next 60 minutes so here's what we'll be going through why Facebook strategies that were working just 12 months ago are out of date costly and ineffective and I would like to actually safely say even six months ago right the seven steps to market your business the right way on Facebook it is very different to what most businesses are doing and of course loads of examples of businesses who are nailing it using these strategies okay so before we get underway if you haven't met me before let me tell you a little bit about me, uh, who I am, and why you should listen to me. You see, it's my job to make you more money, right? But what I'm best known for is I work with businesses all over the world, helping them implement the latest Facebook marketing strategies. I guess you could say, I mean, what, I, what, I guess what I'm about to show you, not many other Facebook marketing, I guess, people are doing, um, and also not necessarily teaching it either. But I guess you could say that my main focus is all about using Facebook to make money, not just to make friends. Yes, it's a social network and it's, you know, you make friends on Facebook, but we're there to do business. And I really do actually try and, you know, use, well, not try, I use Facebook when I go in there and use it as my business. It is solely to, uh, to, to you know, to help poor people, but to actually make money out of it. And that's what I'd like to show you guys as well. I've trained as a journalist and worked in print, radio and TV for over 10 years. So some of the skills that I learned as a journalist was really, A, not to take things at face value. So research, 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 find something out, then spit test it, test it, measure it, find out whether it works or not. And if it doesn't work, kick it to the curb. If it works... I share it with you guys, okay? I have studied and I've implemented and I've coached others in social media marketing really over the last seven years, but predominantly Facebook over the last three or so years, solely Facebook, okay? The thing is, Facebook changes all the time, as you are probably very well aware, okay? So for me to be able to give you the latest Facebook stuff, that's what I have to focus on. So my whole focus here is really about using Facebook to grow your business. The most important thing, though, is I specialize in helping people build reliable, sustainable, scalable income streams from Facebook not just one-off promos, okay? So if you are looking at building a long-term, sustainable, scalable business, then you're really, really going to love this, okay? But first of all, before we get fully underway, I would like to take a little bit of a poll to see how experienced you are at Facebook marketing. Yes, this is one of those interactive webinars, okay? So over to the right-hand side of your screen, you have a control panel. In that control panel, uh, there is a place that you can put questions, okay? You'll be using this throughout the webinar, and I'll be answering questions at the end of the webinar. I've got a lot to cover over the next 60 minutes, so um, please, if you do have questions, uh, either jot them down or write them in the question box, and I'll get to them at the end of the webinar. But for right now, I want you to put in that chat box over to the right uh, some of the answers to these questions, just so I can get a gauge and tailor this to suit, you know, the majority of you, okay? So... If you are a brand newbie, so you might have a personal profile, but, uh, sorry, sorry, I'll take that back and delete that. Um, 
if you're a newbie, you don't, you are not on Facebook right now, okay? So you do not, you haven't been on Facebook, but you know that you should be, okay? You are a social Facebook user. So this means that you have a personal profile, but not a business page. So if you're a newbie, type newbie in the chat box. If you're a social Facebook user, type in social. If you have a business page already, just, but are not advertising, type in page. If you are currently running Facebook ads, then put in FB ads. Um, and if you are making lots of money from Facebook, which is what I really, really love, uh, put a whole heap of dollar signs there for me and let's have a look at where everyone's at, okay? Let me have a squiz here. Answers rolling in. Uh, business page. Some ads, some people making money, we've got ads, business page, business page, business page, ads, oh, we've got a newbie, oh, congratulations, dipping your toe in the water there, uh, social, business page, business page, uh, ads, 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 All right, okay, so we actually have, oh, we've got quite a few coming in here, but right, just to round this up, we have mostly business pages, people with pages, and some people that have uh, run some ads. We've got a newbie, and we've got uh, someone making a lot of money with Facebook as well. That's fantastic. Well, you're going to really, really love this. Let's get moving onwards. So why Facebook? Why is it that I choose Facebook in, um, you know, to not only advertise my, my stuff, but to advertise that of my clients as well? Well, you see, it is the number one website in the world, okay? Now, being the number one website in the world, we have seven out of 10 website users on Facebook. So you can guarantee it's the number one website in the world, and we have seven out of 10 website users on Facebook that your clients will be on there, okay? The thing is, the world's top brands are on Facebook, okay? If they are on there, then it works. They spend a lot of money doing market research into what works, okay? So they're not going to waste money on things that don't work. Now, one of the things that's really, really good to, to, give it, to, to have a go, next time you're um, looking through the internet, looking on Facebook and that, and you see a brand that you recognize, just go and have a look at what they're doing and then see Okay, see if it's something that you might be able to model and implement in your own business. Okay, so there's quite often I'll look at what the top brands are doing, I'll scale it down and either implement, implement a similar type of thing in my business or that of my clients as well. More than 1 billion people access Facebook via their mobile device. This is really cool because Facebook's uh, there's a, it's retargeting system, which I'm going to teach you about further in this webinar works really well with mobile device and not many other retargeting systems do. Another thing to think about just as a, as a side note here is always check that your website works well on mobile, not just is optimized, uh, not just optimized for mobile, but actually everything works well on mobile. Try going through the buying process that your client would go to uh, on your website and through the mobile device and just make sure that everything's working okay. 74% of consumers rely on social media to make purchasing decisions, okay? Now, that's like, no, no longer are they are they going on you know, yellow pages or, you know, necessarily looking at cold ads and newspapers and that. They're going onto social media and they're seeing what their friends are doing. They're seeing what their friends like. They're seeing what the network, their, uh, what their network is doing. New products are now discussed first on Facebook as well, okay? The reason why this is, it's so much cheaper to launch a product and test it on Facebook than it is on mainstream media. I'm going to show you or tell you about, I'll show you the system that I used to be able to launch my international sportswear brand, um, sell it, of clothing that is, sell it uh, before I even paid for it. And this whole system is really about building up the right audience, do the right Facebook marketing, build the right list to be able to then uh, sell products and services to the right audience, okay? Now, the thing is though, is most business owners are doing it completely wrong. And I just wanna cover with you 
I guess, the wrong way to do it, some of the steps that I'm seeing people are doing wrong, so that then I can show you the right way. I think some of you guys might identify with this. I often get people going, no, that's me, through the chat box, okay? So if it's you, that's okay. You're in the right place this evening. To, I'm going to show you how to do it right. But here's what they do. Quite often they'll build likes, okay? Now that's perfectly fine. We want to build up people to come and like our page or we want to drive people to like our page, right? But the issue being is they get lots of likes at the lowest cost possible. So they're really, really poorly targeted fans. So they don't target properly, okay? And they really focus on qu uh, quantity over quality. The problem with this is if we've got poorly targeted fans on our page, then we try and post, and then our post goes out, and then in our post we're actually looking at the reach, so we're focusing on reach, you're going to be really, really disappointed, okay? Because what will happen is Facebook rewards you for doing good inside Facebook. Facebook rewards you for giving the user a good user experience okay so if you're in Facebook you've got poorly targeted fans on your page then you post and, and no one's going to react to it because uh, that it's not targeted right and if no one actually interacts with your post then Facebook won't show it to anyone so it will get poor reach since your fans are poorly targeted then what happens is you try, try they try to increase engagement okay so it's like right my posts aren't reaching anyone no one's seeing them okay I know what I'll post a cat picture okay very very popular on social networks so they use irrelevant photos videos and memes like a cat picture or a funny video and that that's not related to their business okay now what will happen with this is yes Facebook will identify a cat photo. It will say people love cat photos. It will send it out to you, to the people that like your page. And people actually may respond because they love cat photos, <laughs> but they're not truly engaged with your brand, okay? It's okay to do a cat meme if you can relate it back to your brand. If you're selling cat food or pet food, perfectly fine. But if not, <laughs> you might want to rethink that strategy, okay? And then the fourth step is they try to sell. And time and time again, I will hear people say, Facebook doesn't work. I can't sell, right? And if that's you, it's okay. You're in the right place. They try to sell. Sales are low because realistically, the targeting is really, really bad. They've got poorly qualified fans who are not truly engaged with the brand. So, of course, they're not going to buy. The result is lots of effort for very little return. And this is where your frustration could be, okay? There is a much better way to do Facebook marketing. And I want to share with you some of the businesses that I've helped do Facebook marketing the right way. And then we'll get into the system of exactly how we were able to achieve these types of results. Great. So I've worked with a couple of bricks and mortar businesses. So this is a jewelry shop. Now this jeweler came to me uh, sometime end of last year with no Facebook page, uh, no list. And uh, so we had to start from fresh. So my first focus here was really about building up quality likes on the page building up uh, trust, and then also building a list as well. So one of the campaigns we were able to run shortly after we uh, launched on Facebook and uh, started building up fans and uh, started building the trust by great posts and driving people back to the website as we would uh, was holding a sale. It was a half price or more renovation sale. So we ran the sale. But what we did is we ran the sale so that they didn't just go into the shop, that if they wanted extra discount, we sent them to a web page, right? So that we could start building a list. So receive $10 off 
We'd love to offer you a further discount of your next purchase. Just enter your purchase, uh, just enter your details below to view the discount code. So people could enter their name and email address. From this particular sale, which ran for about a week and a half, they made over $128,000, okay? Now, what happened is people were coming from the other side of town to this jewelry store saying, we saw you on Facebook, which is absolutely unheard of, okay? We've got Sam, who was on this webinar uh, about this time last year, and he took action. We love Sam. So Sam owns a hairdressing salon up in the Sunshine Coast. Actually, he, uh, he has three hairdressing salons. Now, he specializes, so he's niched himself. Of course, they do any kind of hair, but they niche themselves into being the color specialists okay so we've been able to put to he's been able to put together a really good campaign based on the information that i'm sharing with you this evening which now means that he makes over four thousand dollars a week uh, and he spends around about four hundred dollars a week uh, on facebook advertising in his salon we've got fruity fruity is a online store uh, it sells blenders and juices now their blenders and juices are more high end okay so they're a little bit more expensive than your average blender or juicer okay um so we've got to put together like because there are heaps of i guess options out there so we had to put together a really um I guess a, a really good campaign to be able to get people to spend more for quality rather than you know less for not that's good quality. Uh, so we ran a campaign and predominantly a remarketing campaign for Fruity and I'm going to run you through that process further in the webinar but just to let you know that just from kicking starting the remarketing campaign on Facebook we're able to make an extra $33,000 a month with this campaign okay. We've also got I work with a, a company I work with a couple called Andrew and Daryl Grant and we, I help them fill their events. So they hold uh, events all throughout Australia, teaching people how to set up online workshops. And I help, and, and, and they hold webinars as well. And I help them fill their events and webinars, okay? Um, I've got heaps of different results from them, uh, but I just wanted to share this particular one with you. So just from a Facebook attendee. So this is people that booked for the event and we directly attribute them to the Facebook ad, we made an extra $110,000 over what, this particular one of their workshops. I've worked with a real estate agent, Campbell Moore. He uh, lives on the Gold Coast and is a real estate agent on the Gold Coast. Had never ever, didn't even know what a Facebook business page was, just started out on Facebook. And we put together a really good strategy for him. Again, I'm going to show you that strategy and that system throughout this webinar. But what happened in the first couple of weeks of him being on Facebook, starting to build up the, 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 the Facebook page, the right types of ads, one of his, one, uh, there was someone that saw an ad for an open home that we placed. They came to the open home and said, we love what you're doing on Facebook. Can you list our house? So that was in the first couple of weeks. Campbell was pretty stoked with that. So that was a $1.2 million listing. And I want to share with you my passion, my personal, uh, one of my other businesses. Now, because I use this system and I this system works across the board, I have a few businesses that I run through Facebook. One of them happens to be this one here. So I started Run Marathon Training around about three years ago. It has now grown into an international sportswear brand. I have trademarked Marathon Girl here in Australia and I sell in several countries throughout the, throughout the world. Um, Run Marathon Training, like I said, started three years ago and I was challenged to setting up a Starting from absolute scratch, coming up with a topic and making money from that topic uh, within 30 days using Facebook. So I videoed myself doing the process of researching the niche. I love running, so I broke it down to marathon running. What eventuated from this is uh, on about day 20 or 21, I had I had I built up the likes, I built up the list, and I had uh, and then I started selling products and at that stage all I had was affiliate products so I sold affiliate products within about 20 to 21 days I had started making money on the site. What happened after that is I produced my own marathon training programs, uh, nutritional programs 
Um, and then I started selling t-shirts. The people on my page wanted running tops. So I found someone to supply the running tops. I had it all teed up. I pre-sold the running shots tops that had never mess with a woman who runs 42.2 kilometers just for fun or never mess with a woman who runs 26.2 miles just for fun for the United States. Um, so I had sold out of my first shipment before I placed the order. So before I even pushed the button and paid for it, okay, I'd said this is how many tops I want to get in, teed it up with the supplier, sold out, obviously had to increase that before I paid for them, okay. Now I sell half marathon tops, so never mess with a woman who runs 21.1 kilometers or 13.1 miles, and I sell white tops now. I'm about to introduce a bracelet, some hats, some jackets, and it's all what people have been asking for. They keep writing into me saying, hey, listen, can you um, produce a hats? Can you produce jackets and so on? So this little site here, my little hobby, <laughs> it makes me between six and $8,000 a month, okay? It's going into the more $8,000 a month now because I'm really ramping it up in the USA. Here's the deal though. I only spend at the very most in this business 10 hours a month, okay? I have people that dispatch the tops and that. Uh, this is just uh, maybe marketing and whatever else. And sometimes, seriously, I spend a couple of hours a month on this business. So you don't need to be wasting a whole heap of time on Facebook or spending, should I say, because it's not wasting, but yeah, spending a whole heap of time on Facebook to make some good money out of it, okay, as long as you're doing it right. And one more story I want to share with you, and then we'll get into the nuts and bolts. So I hold a three-day workshop on Facebook. So for me to cut this down into a 60-minute segment, it's really difficult. So there will be times where I race through this. Um, just It's okay. I just take down, take down notes, and I'll show you at the end how you can get me to set the system up for you and show you how to do it, okay? But I hold a three-day workshop. And uh, so in my three-day workshop, I get clients up on stage to share their story with working with me, okay? And this is one that's just, I absolutely love. So Petra, this is what she said when she got up at my workshop uh, last October. I'm a beauty therapist with a passion for natural therapists, therapies. I have an e-commerce business selling a natural teeth whitener called Warpaint. I started on social media just 18 months ago. Before that, I didn't even know what a like was. I attended Kerry's Facebook workshop a year ago, and Kerry helped me set up a business on Facebook. My daughters also helped me with Instagram. I've now been selling for 10 months. In month three, I did 30,000 in sales. Last month, I did 65,000. I'm now selling in 55 countries and have a distributor in the UK. I'm a 2015 finalist in the Richard Branson Entrepreneurship Business Builder Awards, and I'm in the top 1% in social media sales for businesses under 12 months old. Based on orders I have in the pipeline, I'll do over a million next year, okay? Now, this is da uh, Petra's daughter. Um, this isn't actually her. This is her daughter with the, the black paint you can see on the face, which has gone a craze, okay? But what I love, I absolutely love, is she used the system. She didn't even know what a Facebook like was to over a million in the pipeline. Who likes the idea of that? Raise your hand. <laughs> Excellent. Yes, I can see there's a few hands going up there. Fantastic. Right. So let's go through step by step how to do it the right way. Okay. So step one. Step one is really about building some of the foundations. Okay. So setting up and optimizing your Facebook page. It's also setting up your like campaign. So to get those qual uh, quality targeted people to come and like your page. And then the opt-in and build a page on your website as well. We call it an opt-in page, but a landing page that has some valuable content 
or a valuable free gift so you can start building a list okay so let's break that down a little bit I'm just going to go mainly into the light campaign rather than how to set up and optimize your Facebook page purely because of our time this evening but like I said I'll be able to show you how I can help you do this and how you can uh, work with me to, to get this done and how I can teach you to do the same further on in the webinar so let's talk about creating effective like ads okay now the idea of the like ad or getting someone to come and like your page realistically it's about someone putting their hand up to say I'm interested in what you do okay it's a low cost way of getting someone to come and identify your with your business or it's a really low cost way of branding your business and pulling out a a, 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 a group of people that are interested in what you do okay as part of a light campaign the main components include an image which is what stands out when someone's looking through their news feed and a call to action to get someone to come and like the page so just to give you an example love running marathons like us the only thing that you're doing here is getting them to come and like your page you're not selling anything at this point it's just put you want someone to put their hand up and say I am interested in what you do right so a benefit to them we want to make sure that we are setting up these ads inside ads manager when you set up your Facebook business page for some of you that I said you had social profiles when you set up your Facebook business page as part of the uh, pr process of you setting it up Facebook is going to ask you do you want to promote your page the number of people that go click yes all of a sudden they're putting their credit card details in and they've set up a like campaign okay but that's not the most uh, uh, um, that's not the best way to run a like campaign. You actually have to go inside Ads Manager, inside Facebook, to set one up. That's the best and most optimized Facebook ad you can set up, okay? Now, you always want to be split testing, okay? So we want to have two ads running so we can split test. And I'm going to show you an example of the importance of split testing, really. So we're always wanting to beat the control. And then we run a campaign. When you first start out, I want you to run that campaign for 10 days and with a daily budget of, well, $5 per ad set. So your daily budget of $10, but split testing the two ads, always beating the control. You have it up and running for three days. Whatever one's performing the best, take the one that's least performing down, put a new one up, run it for another three days and so on. So you'll get a few split tests in over 10 days to see what's going to work best in your business what we are looking for in this instance is we're looking for ads that have what we call a high relevancy score so Facebook gives you a score from out of 10 10 out of 10 being this ad is highly relevant to your audience the image and the audience and the copy are all really relevant Facebook bases this predominantly on people that interact with the ad okay and you're looking for a lower cost per like so who we're going to advertise to in this instance when we're just starting out is we're going to advertise to an interest based audience okay if we're talking about my marathon brand we're advertising to people that love the Boston Marathon people that are interested in the Gold Coast Marathon people that are interested in the Melbourne Marathon people that are interested in the Sydney Running Festival which happens to be the Sydney Marathon people that are interested in the New York Marathon I think you get my drift okay I am NOT advertising to people who are interested in keywords marathon running okay it's too broad I'm gonna get the wrong people if I advertise specifically to people based on the pages that they might like, you're going to get a much better result. Okay, I'll repeat that. Advertise an interest-based audience to people uh, targeting pages that your audience might like. So if you have an existing database right now, then you want to be uploading them into Facebook and advertising to them okay these are really hot audience because they're currently on your database and I'm going to show you how to do that very all very very shortly okay now here are the examples so you know how a minute ago I said really important split test well this is why okay so here's a client of mine 
and this is one of the ads that we ran uh, with this particular image. Okay, love Samoyed dogs. It was a Samoyed passion page. Like us, adorable photos, helpful tips. This is a Samoyed haven. Now we ran this ad, and it had an eight out of ten relevancy score. Okay, which is which is okay. All right, the cost per like. So the cost to get a like was twenty eight. Sense, right now in some industries and in some instances that is fantastic you'd be happy all day every day in getting someone to put their hand up and uh, like your business right so I'm interested in what you do for 28 cents right but this is a passion niche and in passion niches we wouldn't expect to pay any more than 10 cents a like okay so I knew that this was a little bit high so we start split test we ran this particular image, okay? Within a few days of putting this image up, 10 out of 10 relevancy score, so more people were interacting with it. Facebook liked it more. And six cents a like is what it dropped down to, okay? So if you don't split test, we could have just kept playing 28 cents a like, okay? So that is really the importance of split testing. Here's another example of my business, okay? So... I ran this ad for uh, quite some time. Turn your Facebook marketing efforts into profits like us. It's fine. It was an okay result. At the time, I think I was uh, I was paying um, about between 80 cents, I think, and it was a dollar something to get a like. Now, I'm going to get return on investment on that, okay? But I still wanted to split test. So I thought a little bit outside the box. I started thinking about, right, who's my ideal client? I work with... You know, a whole range of people, but you know, when I'm marketing, I'm marketing to people just like me. I love my high heels, um, and uh, so I just wanted to, to to do something a little bit racing, a bit different. So start out on the right foot with your Facebook marketing and advertising, like us. This one here dropped down to around about, uh, I think it was 18 cents to around about 21 cents to get a like, which is perfectly fine for a um, um, a, a business page rather than a passion niche. I know I get return on an investment on that, okay? So the purpose of the like campaign is not what you think, okay? It is to help you exactly identify who your avatar is. So when we talk about an avatar, it's not the movie, it's the demographics of your ideal client. The thing is, if you know who your ideal client is, whether it's a 35 to 45 year old female or whether it's a 20 to 25 year old female, okay? If you know who that is, then you can target ads and image and copy to them. What I mean by that is a 35 to 45 year old female will react to certain images different, certain copy different than would, let's just say, a male, than would a younger counterpart, okay? So, once you know who this is, you can advertise directly to them with the right color, the right image, the right copy. They think that you are speaking directly to them. They identify with your message. If they identify with your message, they take action. If they take action, Facebook rewards you and that massively reduces your ad costs. And yes, a certain part of it might be a little bit of social proof, okay, uh, which doesn't go astray. But please remember, it is about getting quality over quantity, okay. I like to sort of mix the two together and I like to get highly qualified likes for as little cost as possible. And that's what I'm showing you here this evening. So here's another reason realistically, like, why you do want to build up people to like your page. This is a campaign that I ran, just a snapshot of a few days of a campaign that I ran for a client. This here is an interest-based audience, and we've reached over 7,500 people, had 172 link clicks, so website clicks, and seven people took action at $6.43 cost per action okay we advertise to the fans same ad same image, image same everything else just a different audience 220 people at reached because there's less fans and there is an interest base 40 people click through but 23 people took action at two dollars one 
uh, cost per action, okay? So that's pretty much the importance of really building up those really highly qualified fans on your page, right? So step two. So we've got these people on our Facebook page. Now we now want to drive them to our website. One of the best ways to drive them to your website or to get them interested in what you do and to get them to trust you is to post helpful, relevant content on your blog, okay, or on your website. Now it might look a little bit like one of my articles that I have written here, um, a Facebook uh, uh, Kickstarter Business Manager, another way to business your, uh, manage your page um, last year. And uh, actually it was probably the, the, the end of 2014, to be honest, but it took a while for me to actually start to like it and to be able to use it, the benefit on it, you know, with it benefit from it in my business. So I put together an article at the end of last year uh, because it became a hot topic. People wanted to know all about business manager, right? So then I'd use ads to drive people to something, a page on my website that people are interested in, okay? Step three, before we start doing all that though, is we want to make sure that we can track people when they come onto our website. So we want to put a Facebook pixel on each page of your website to track visitors, okay? So, what is a pixel, I hear some of you guys asking, okay? Well, it's a small piece of code that Facebook gives you. If you have a Facebook account, which most of you guys do, you have a business page, you also have a, an ad account. Facebook gives you their ad account when you have their, when you have, um, when you have a Facebook profile, effectively, okay? Inside that ad account, Facebook gives you a pixel or a small piece of code, okay? When you put it, it on your website, it tags any visitors who have a Facebook account. So it basically cookies them is the technical term. I just want to show you what's possible. Like I said, I can show you at the end of this webinar how I can give you some training on this and how I can do this for you, more, more in-depth stuff. You create audiences in Facebook depending on which page on your website they visit, okay? So you get this pixel code, you pop it on your website, you go back into Facebook and you create audiences. So really you're setting up rules inside Facebook. So we set up audiences, then we set up rules when we're running our ads, which instruct Facebook to show them different ads to different audiences. More details on this shortly. Step four is we're going to run Facebook ads to your fans initially and get them to go back to your website to put their name and email address in. So to opt in to get something that's high perceived value, low cost of delivery, or to read your content. So we have these people that are highly targeted. We want to take them from Facebook and we want to put them back onto our website. The purpose of this particular step is to trigger that pixel, that Facebook pixel, to create a website custom audience. These people are really, really hot prospects, okay, because they've put their hand up once to say I'm interested in what you do by liking our page. They've put it up twice by clicking on the ad and coming through to the website, okay? We want to then collect a list or build a list. So you want to have something on the page that they can enter their name and email address. And we want to be able to do that so that we can email market these people. We also want to build this email list so that you can bring it back into Facebook again and have it as a custom audience that you can advertise to. So think about it like this. You're sending emails to them. They uh, may not open your emails. Some will, some won't. But they will be seeing them in there. Then they'll be seeing you again on Facebook. It really does give you an imp them the impression that you're a lot bigger than you actually are and, um, and, and really keeps your business front of mind. Then you build a custom audience again that you can use to create what we call a look-alike audience that you can advertise to. 
I'm going to tell you about the, um, the uh, how amazing a lookalike audience is and a little bit more about this lookalike audience and the results you can get from it further on in this webinar, okay? I want to show you what one of these ads looks like. So here's another client that I work with and they teach people how they can, um, I guess, travel the world, uh, swapping their skills for, for, for you know, for travel effectively. Discover how to swap work for travel, live with the locals and make a difference free guide. Okay, so we drive people with this kind of ad to go to download. They click through and they come to this website. Okay, here's how you can travel to amazing places anywhere in the world, live with the locals and really make a difference and it's far cheaper than traveling like a tourist. Get your free guide now. So that's the top of the page, that's the bottom of the page. One thing that you'll notice if you come to this website, there is only one thing that people can do from the ad, they come to this page, from this page, they opt in. I'm not selling anything on this page and I don't want them really navigating away from it. I want that slide to take them straight through and make it nice, easy for them to do what I need them to do, which is to opt in so that I can build my list, okay? Step five is creating highly targeted custom audiences, okay, that you can remarket to. So we're talking about you building up your fans, your website visitors, your database, so your email list, and then we want to produce look-alike audiences. So the types of audience we've got are fans, self-explanatory. These are the people that have come and liked your page. They've taken the first step to saying, I'm interested in what you do. These are highly targeted. We've got our email list. So these are people that have come onto our email list. So they've entered their name and their email address to get something for you know of high perceived value to them, low cost of delivery for us. Or it might be your current email list right now. We're going to advertise to our website custom audiences. So these are people that have already visited our website and our look-alike audience. So just to give you an explanation of this audience, this is an audience that Facebook um, puts together for you effectively. And you can have a look-alike audience of your fans. You can have a look-alike audience of your email list. You can have a look-alike audience of people that visit your website. You can have a look-alike audience of your current clients. Now, Facebook is that clever at matching these audiences up so if you have, let's just say, a client list of 150 people, right, or over 100 people, okay, Facebook is able to look at their profiles, look at the similarities and match up an audience that is exactly the same, that might be, you know, over 100,000 people the same or 200,000 people the same. So, and it's so damn precise. It's really, really good. If you have not looked at these lookalike audiences before, please, give them a go. They're a really, really great audience to use if you have a really small list or fan base or if you're just starting out right now, okay? We want to advertise to audiences based on actions that they've taken. So for instance, they've come to our landing page, but they didn't opt in. You have noticed when you came to my webinar registration page, okay, for this particular webinar that you're on right now, some of you did not register straight away. You would have gone back to Facebook and I showed you an ad. Oi, why haven't you booked yet? If you want to find out how to do the strategy, go back and book. <laughs> yes, I know some of you have seen that. <laughs> and if you did book, you would have seen me seen a, a, a an ad coming up going, congratulations, you're booked. Make sure you show up live. <laughs> so we can advertise to people based on their actions or if they abandon shopping carts, okay? So we've got some e people that have got e-commerce businesses on this webinar this evening. Did you know that shopping cart abandonments, uh, the statistic is 67% of people will abandon shopping cart. What I mean by that is, and you've probably done it yourself, you've gone to a shop, you've added to cart, for whatever reason, the house is burnt down, the baby's crying, the phone is rung, you know, computer's blown up, whatever the reason, <laughs> you didn't check out. You go back to Facebook and then get ads. Hey, 
your shopping cart's waiting for you. Or, you, you know, as a marketer, you can show an ad of the benefit of them coming back and shopping with you. And we can advertise to people based on behavior. There's a whole heap of different audiences, but there's a behavior-based audience. So behavior-based audience are people who are high spenders, people who like to travel, people who are currently traveling, people who are intending to travel, people that own a house that's over a certain amount of money, people that drive certain types of cars to the value of a certain type, people who are high spenders of a certain type of food, right? It's, it's getting more and more and more. We're a little bit more limited in Australia than they are in the United States, okay? The United States' behavior-based audience uh, or the buyer's audience uh, it can cover a whole range of people, okay? But it is possible to target a certain people based on the behaviors that they do and show them highly targeted ads. So step six is we're going to remarket to those custom audiences to build your fans and email list again, right? So this is really going a full circle. So we're really, I guess, embedding ourselves into their lives that they can see us wherever they go, right? With highly targeted ads based on the actions that they take. So let's go into remarketing because this has had, I've had huge results with remarketing in my business and that of my clients. It really is the main thing that's made the huge difference um, in, in, in our businesses, okay? So my definition of remarketing is stalking people who visit your website and based on their action or inaction, show them highly targeted ads, okay? So the purpose of remarketing ads is we want to target people who have taken a particular action and serve up a very specific tailored ad. So let's just say they have come to my webinar registration page and didn't register. Then they're going to see an ad that says, Oi, see you haven't registered. If you want to learn how to do these advanced strategies and get back into front of your clients who might never see you again, you must register for my webinar, benefit, 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 or something like that, okay? If they're coming to my Marathon Girls Guide to running a marathon and they don't opt in to get the free guide, they're going to see an ad saying, hey, listen, you know, uh, see you didn't grab the guide. Here's why you need to grab the guide. Benefit, benefit, benefit to get them to come back and grab the guide. The other thing that I can do is I can run an ad to people that have bought my programs, okay? So let's just say someone's brought up or bought my, my uh, running tops. So someone buys a marathon girl running top. They go back to Facebook and they see an ad that's advertising a marathon training program, okay? Um, so there's a whole heap of things that are possible here. You can do upsells, you can do side sales, uh, and you can just get back in front of those people that didn't sell in the first place as well. If someone has visited your opt-in page but not opted in, show them ads about the value of your free gift. This might be testimonials from other clients. It might be video testimonials from other clients. Get creative with this stuff. If someone has abandoned your shopping cart, so, you know, partway through the buying, show them ads about the benefits of your product, okay? I show them, hey, listen, free shipping until Sunday, which can drive them back to come get the running tops. So here's some examples of some remarketing ads. Now, I had the opportunity to work with uh, Glenn Twiddle and Richard Branson. Uh, so Glenn Twiddle helps uh, real estate agents and holds workshops throughout Australia, helping real estate agents build their business. Last year, uh, he did a, a, a double slam dunk and he had Arnold Schwarzenegger at his workshop at the beginning of the year and Richard Branson at the end of the year. And I had the opportunity to, to, to share the stage with Richard Branson but help Glenn fill his events, okay? So here was one of his ads, want to spend time with Richard Branson. He's coming to Australia next week. Last minute tickets are still available to see Richard Branson and the Titans of Real Estate live on stage. Book now before another agent takes your place. Now here's the deal about this, okay? We were on the tail end because Glenn was actually... He was holding a Titans of Real Estate event. He had already smashed his list 
and with with promoting this event and Richard Branson came back and said I can come and present at one of your events on this particular date the date was just after the event that he was promoting okay so the list was already in, it smashed with adverts for the previous event so we actually only had about a week and a half to fill this event it's Richard Branson I know but <laughs> we had a week and a half to fill this event okay so we had to get really creative so Glenn this is what he said uh, at my my workshop last year after we did his event this is what he uh, uh, um, said at my workshop a couple of weeks ago I was host to Richard Branson at one of my events. I had over a thousand people attend. So we got over a thousand people in there in about a week and a half. The reason I'm able to get those sorts of numbers is the help I've had from Kerry Fitzgibbon in my Facebook marketing. Kerry handled it all for me. Her Facebook skills were beyond good. Using her remarketing strategies, the results were incredible. My cost per conversion dropped by over 80%. From $97 to $197, that was to get someone to the seminar, to just $17 to $20 to get someone to come to the seminar. I can't imagine how much money I wasted before back when I was doing it myself. I'm really glad I found Kerry with her unique uh, skills on Facebook. Thank you very much. So here is an example of the uh, a remarketing ad that we did so when they came to the registration page and they didn't register they got a did life get in the way our spies tell us you were checking out our titans of real estate event page but you didn't register here is your last chance to spend time with Richard Branson and the titans of real estate last minute ticket sales available so on and so on and so on so the results from this particular seminar is he made over $500,000 worth of sales and over that because when I spoke to him about it, he said, yep, over $500,000 and he said, and sales are still coming in from it, okay, which is a really, really great result. So after our remarketing, after we've built everything up, after we've gone through the system, we've now got these highly targeted hot prospects, well, now we have to sell them stuff, okay, and we can sell either via email or remarketing ads to those audiences, okay? So I want to show you some of the businesses that I've helped, including Nick. So Nick runs an online uh, motorcycle parts shop. He was at my webinar like you guys uh, last year, and he took action. So after taking action, ads cost dropped 23% after remarketing to the website audience. They dropped a further 62% after remarketing to shopping cart abandons, okay? He had the same stats as every other e-commerce place business. He was around about 67% uh, um, abandoned shopping cart rate. Facebook ads now cost one-tenth of Google AdWords and monthly income is up by 46% in the first four weeks and it doubled since he started remarketing. I work with Andrew and Daryl Grant, which I shared with you earlier in the in the webinar, and they help people fill. Uh, they they help people market online, and I help do their webinars and their events. They also work with to other top Australian marketers. Now, one of the people that they uh, worked with was uh, top copywriter Brett Thompson. Now, he asked them to promote one of his new products, okay? Now, they were right in the middle of promoting a four-day workshop, and they didn't want to interrupt their marketing to their list or confuse their list, okay? But they still wanted to help him. So what we ended up doing is we set up a remarketing campaign on Facebook, and we just advertised it for four days, okay? So we advertised to a, their database, uploaded into Facebook, and we produced a look-alike audience as well, okay? Uh, with 112 new leads in four days, you might see over here the cost of the advertising, we spent $300, uh, and it was cost $2.68 to get someone to take action, and that made over $4,200 worth of profit in those four days. Nice and a and, 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 uh, small amount, but spend $300, Make four thousand two hundred. You'd do that day after day, wouldn't you? So, uh, as I mentioned to you earlier, I work with uh, Fruity. Uh, they sell high-end blenders and juices, and this is just one of the campaigns that we ran for a Boxing Day sale. So, advertising to predominantly a warm audience. Uh, so, we did actually have a look-alike audience, fans, a custom audience, and website audience. Just to show you the total here, spent $300, made over $15,000. But the key thing here is it costs $6 to get 
someone to buy. So when they were doing Google AdWords, they were spending $80 to $100 to get someone to buy. Using Facebook retargeting, it was $6 to get someone to buy. And as little as $4 in some instances. So really, really highly powerful stuff, this. I work with Lauren Clement. Uh, she's one of Australia's top branding experts. Again, she came to my workshop last year and just shared uh, what I did with her business. So she said, I'm an author and a speaker and I help people raise their authority. Last year, my books became bestsellers. So I've been doing the speaking circuit, but I was finding it hard to fill my workshops. As soon as Kerry switched on Facebook ads, I had a full workshops. I already had a database and Kerry plugged that into Facebook marketing and it all happened like magic. And the people that turned up to the workshops are the perfect audience. Even the lookalike audience is a perfect match. At my half-day personal branding workshops, I sell a one-on-one -on -one program. With workshops filled with Facebook, I'm getting an 80% conversion rate. I've spent 180 on Facebook ads and it's turned into thousands. And Jake is another client of mine. Again, he got up at my workshop uh, at the end of last year and shared this story about working with me. Now, Jake runs a, a personal training business, but not an ordinary personal training business. I've been running a PT business for six and a half years. We have 22 locations in Queensland and Western Australia. We mostly use Facebook to bring in leads and we've been working with Kerry for about two months now. So that was at that stage. We're still working with each other now. On Facebook, we promote a four-week intro boot camp for just $47. Once people have bought, we upsell them to ongoing programs. Our continuity products bring in about 20,000 a week. Since we've been working with Kerry, we've been able to reduce our cost per lead down to just $3.50. We have a 33% conversion rate to a long-term client with a value of $1,000. That means that it now costs us just $10 to make $1,000. That also makes it easy to license our business model to other PTs. Without Facebook, I'd just be a typical PT trying to get my next client and working a second job at night. So... I want to share with you how you can do it the right way and how you can do Facebook the right way. I now hope, with my help, I now hope you are seeing the potential of what Facebook can do for you. I've given you a dozen different examples. Obviously, there's going to be a variation of success, but let me take a few moments to show you how you can be successful with Facebook with my step-by-step -step Facebook Profits program. So, there are probably a whole heap of questions that you have, so that is why I've put together the Facebook Profits program. And I have three different components to this. So the first component is my Facebook Ads Secrets Remarketing Training. Now in this remarketing training, I have seven training webinars. So these are ones that step you through how to do Facebook remarketing the right way, a step-by-step -step process to ensure success okay that is valued at $1,397 now I know that people all learn in different ways okay so I have a training guide that goes alongside the, the webinars so that you can read through the guide watch the videos it's like looking over my shoulder where I show you exactly where you what you need to do on the screen okay that's worth $147 for those that just like to tick things off as they go along I have a quick start cheat sheet which can get you up and running really, really quickly, and that's worth $57. Now, I do a lot of research, okay? So I've put a whole heap of links into some of the resources that I've used. It's a huge, big library of stuff that you might find useful. Uh, that's valued at $97. Some people love to go right to the source and see where I got this information from. If that's you, I've laid it all out for you, okay? And I've got audios of all the training as well. You see, that's valued at $297. You see, I run marathons now. I have been for the last few years. I just did Boston Marathon uh, last month um, and took a lot of my running tops over there. It was fantastic. Now, when I'm training, I, I actually watch webinars and tr training webinars all the time, um, but I also go back and I listen to audios of the training as well. If people supply them, I find it really, really useful to be able to really segment and get that training into my head. So if you are time poor and want to go in and, and listen to audios, I've pr I produced the audios in there as well. So that component alone is valued at $1,995. Uh, $1, I also have a component in here because some people are a little bit, uh, have a, have a, 
I guess a tight budget, but how you can make sales from Facebook without spending a cent. In this particular program, I've just got little tips and tricks on getting good quality free traffic on Facebook. Really, how to increase the reach of your organic posts uh, without cat memes. <laughs> how to post to get your fans to sign up to your, to your email list. Uh, the new rules of Facebook posting and really how to use this to your advantage. It did change in the last six months or so and some really quick engagement and monetizing tips for Facebook as well. The total value of this particular component is $497. And my third component is the how to create a profitable Facebook business from scratch beginners course. And in fact, most of you guys will be here right now because this is about, even if you're on Facebook, even if you're running ads right now, this component is really about going back and setting those foundations up correctly, okay? I have six training webinars that are there on the site for you to start straight away, okay? They take you through how to create and optimize your Facebook page. Even people that have got a Facebook page up and running have watched this and gone, oh my goodness, it's absolutely amazing and gone in and changed their Facebook page and optimized it. How you can create like ads to build an audience and really build those quality, that really, really quality audience, okay? How to post on Facebook the right way for the best engagement and also how to use Facebook really to sell your products or services, including the types of ads that work best, the types of image that works best, and the type of copy that converts best as well. It's really, I take all the guesswork out of it for you. You're watching me as I do it. That's valued at $1,997. So I'm also going to offer you a 12 uh, video set. So I know I've been mentioning my my, my three-day workshop. I've actually got one coming up also in September, which you will get access to as well. So three days uh, workshop. But I do have, if you can't wait till then, I do have the video of my last workshop. And that was over three days broken up into 12 videos, how to use Facebook to really grow your business. And something really, really, really special is You'll have the nuts and bolts, but this really ties it all together and really helps individualize it for you, okay? So you do get a one-on-one -on -one strategy call with me so that I can go through and work out, you know, what's going to work best in your business and put together a little bit of a strategy for your business, okay? Now, the last thing I want to do is something really, really special. It's something I normally reserve for my high-level clients, and that's people that pay me over $17,000 or more. What I'm going to give you is 12 months of private mentoring from me as you implement as part of our exclusive Facebook group. This group is full of experts, online marketing and marketing experts. It's full of my clients who are killing it, okay? So... You do the training, you go into the Facebook group, you ask questions. It's like actually having me work on your business for you. I'm in there answering questions, but I've got SEO experts, I've got copywriters, I've got web developers all in there. I've got past clients that come in and help as well. So there's a whole heap of people in there that can really help you grow your business, okay? So really, just to wrap things up, you get the Facebook ad secrets remarketing training valued at $1995. How to make sales from Facebook without spending a cent program for $497. The how to create a profitable Facebook business from scratch beginners course, that's at $1997. The one-on-one -on -one strategy session with me really to, you know, personalize this a little bit more for you valued at 997 and 12 months private mentoring inside my Facebook group and seriously guys that is absolutely priceless I release all the latest things in Facebook all the changes all the videos and everything into that group before anyone else gets it okay and then the 12 video set on how to use Facebook to grow your business valued at 997 dollars so the total value of that is 648 six thousand four hundred and eighty three and really at that price it is incredible value I know that you will easily recoup the value in the increased traffic conversions and sales you'll make from what you'll learn in the program but I have something really really special for you that's going to give you a massive discount on that price you see I really do need to ask you a favor 
I'm on my mission, I'm on a mission at the moment to be the go-to person for Facebook and Facebook remarketing in the world, okay? I'm already getting heaps of speaking gigs and overseas clients, but I need heaps more and lots and lots of case studies. So really, I'm going to, this is going to be a win-win. I want to offer this to you for four payments of $297. Um, and if you pay in full, you get a further discount of 997 okay? See, I want to be able to use your success as my case study and only if you love my course testimonials, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put that link in the chat box for you. There we go, to get access to that. You get access to all that training straight away. So if you sign up tonight, you get access to that straight away. Now, one last thing that I really want to do for you to make it an absolute no-brainer is I know that a lot of you guys really don't know who I am, okay? And, 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 and I guess you'd probably be a little bit unsure about doing business with someone that you've just met, even if this is actually a really, really amazing offer. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to include a 30-day, no questions asked, money back guarantee. That means over the next 30 days, you can attend, uh, you can watch the webinars, read the guide, use the checklists, even get the, the, the strategy call with me and ask as many questions as you want in the private, ment private mentoring group. If at the end of the 30 days you decide the program's not for you for any reason, then I'll refund you in full, no questions asked. I simply can't make it any more risk-free risk than that. So head over to the chat box that I've pasted, uh, the, the link that I've uh, put in the chat box, and uh, let me know if you are having any issues finding that link. But here's the deal, guys. Now, I am an action taker. I love working with action takers with people who are keen to make things happen. I'm an action taker myself, and I have a track record to prove it. So if you're an action taker, then I have something really, really special for you. If you join the program before the end of the webinar, and we're going to take questions at the end of this webinar, so as long as you join before the end of the webinar, here's what I'm going to give you. I'm going to... Uh, do the build the Facebook marketing for you, okay? So I'll build all your Facebook marketing. I'll build your and optimize your existing Facebook page. I'll create your like ads and set up your like campaign. I'll create your ads to drive people, your conversion ads effectively, to set up and set up your conversion ad campaign. I'll create your remarketing ads and set up your remarketing ad campaign. And I will create and load all the necessary Facebook pixels onto your website and those audiences. Then I'll hand it over to you and you will have the training on how to manage it. Okay. So what I, this is something in my business that I charge $4,000 to do for someone. So head over to the, uh, the link. If you join before the end of the webinar and I'm opening up to questions right now, then you get the chance to ta take advantage of me doing all this for you. Um, just want to share with you Lucy. Lucy said about my training. It was uh, She's been doing some training with some big name in American internet marketers. We won't name any names as you'd recognize who they are. Lucy said that by comparison, my training was, she said, I love how Kerry has taken a complex subject and made it easy to follow and implement. Lucy uh, is from the Sunshine Coast. But here's a recent update from Lucy, okay? She sent this through to me last month. Hi, Kerry, just wanted to let you know of my successes in the last month since getting your help with my Facebook marketing. I've been making two to three sales a month of my 3,000 product consistently. Then last month, I did a special promotion and made $30,000. Next step for me is to take my program to the US. Thank you so much for your help, Lucy Walter, Sunshine Coast. Julie DeMont, after doing my training, uh, since starting the Facebook remarketing training only a few weeks ago, Julie has six to nine times increase in traffic to her website. And it networks with small to medium businesses. Uh, so uh, and she's a consultant, marketing consultant. So she has an electrical client of hers, has increased his traffic, slashed his cost, and got seven new client calls in just six days. And 
50 cents per website visitor. It's costing way less than Google AdWords. And a mortgage broker client who used remarketing to double page likes in eight weeks and generate new business as well, okay? So get started today for just 997, or you can do those monthly payments. So tonight you pay 297, and then three monthly payments of 297. Let's just head over to the chat box here, and I'll post that link in again, um, and open up to questions. Okay, so I'm just going to scroll through. If you have asked a question, um, Oh, I had a question earlier on saying, is that jeweler closed down? No, it wasn't a closing down. It was a renovation sale. Um, <laughs> okay, so let me just scroll through here. Oh, Joshua, thank you. Looking forward to having you on board. That was very, very quick. What on you? <laughs> Joshua's come and joined. So... So there's a few questions here from throughout the webinar. I just need to get to the get to the bottom of these first. Just type them in if you've got any more. Um, okay, so I have three different businesses. Will it work with all? Okay, so the thing with um, with the system that I use and that I've gone through with you today is it actually works on pretty much any type of industry, okay? It's really about building up that, that, that you know, finding the most highly targeted people, building up the, 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 them to come like your page, uh, drive them to your website, tracking them, building the right uh, email lists and retargeting, okay? Building the list and retargeting. So it doesn't matter what business you have, uh, this type of system works pretty much time and time and time again is what I've found. Okay, so yeah, we've got a network marketer here. Yeah, okay, so I did network marketing. What are the rules around network marketing on Facebook? I've heard that you can't do it. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> Not quite. So I actually have some uh, network marketing clients. So what we find with uh, network marketing is Facebook doesn't like to promote MLM or work from home type of systems, okay? So we have to do some really, really clever stuff around network marketing. And it includes perhaps selling the product as opposed to the business, okay? So I've got quite a few network marketing clients. And in fact, I actually talk about some of them in my training webinars because I do work with a few. But what you really want to be doing is you want to set up your own business page, Facebook business page, not just use the, the network marketing business page and, um, and, and set up your own web page and really uh, build high quality content on that particular page and then drive them to your business okay so we tend to focus on product uh, high value um, to be able to get around those rules as well yeah I actually wonder if this question would come up uh, so yeah uh, what's the deal with the new Facebook pixel yeah so uh, this is probably a little bit complicated, and for some of you, you relatively new people on Facebook, you won't actually realize this yourself. But Facebook has introduced a unified pixel. So this is a bit of code that you put on your website so that you can retarget. It used to be two. So we used to have one that uh, was used for uh, tracking people that came to your website and another that was used for conversions. So they've now rolled out just one pixel does all, and they're closing off the conversion one. In fact, they're doing it any day now, okay? So um, part of my training actually does include the uh, the new Facebook pixel, how to put that on and how it all works. It has been confusing even for Facebook marketers uh on how it all works um, so you know don't blame you for not understanding it but what you do need to be aware of is if you have a, 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 an old Facebook pixel and an, a conversion pixel on your website they do need to be swapped out okay awesome Shelley look forward to look forward to working with you thank you very much excellent um, okay Sorry, I'm just trying to weed, weed my way through here. Yeah, listen, if you haven't, I've got a question here. So uh, what if I don't have a website right now? What am I going to do? Yeah. So the thing is, is 
you should have a website for your business, okay? And I get when you just start out, you know, you've got all these other expenses and everything else and it's really hard to, you know, to, to concentrate on, you know, getting a website built. There's sites that you can, you can website builders that you can set up and do websites um, on for very, very little little cost okay my suggestion would be that you know yes you can sell on Facebook but you really want to be driving people off to a website you really want to be building that list you really want to be um, you know send them to your website so you can produce an audience and stuff so my suggestion is if you know if you don't have a website right now you know all cool actually in my training I talk about the different types of landing pages and things like that you can get built um, you know for people that don't have websites I suggest get one, but set up your Facebook page, start building up that fan base while that's happening, get the website built in conjunction with, or use one of the free tools that are online to, 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 to build your website. They're not the best type of tools, but certainly something that, yeah, you know, that will work in the interim until you're, you're making enough money to, to be able to, to, you know, get an, a proper website built. Okay. Uh, thanks, Helen. Yep. Yeah. So you would have got an email, um, so anyone that's signing up tonight, uh, you do get the action takers bonus, uh, of course, but you will be directed as soon as you sign up to uh, a link to be able to sign yourself into the program. You can go through all the material tonight if you want to, okay? So um, awesome. Thank you. Uh, yes. Um, so, yeah, so you'll get access to the material straight away. Um, Johnny, uh Oh, sorry to hear that you had to go. Yes, it has been recorded and I will be uploading this webinar somewhere. So anyone that wants to listen to this uh, later, um, I have recorded it. Hopefully it's all worked perfectly fine. I will be uh, putting a link up tomorrow, sending it out to you so that you can re-watch it if you wish to. Excellent. Thank you. Great. So we're coming to the end of our questions. Quiet tonight. Okay, so yep, so I've got a question about an e-commerce site. Here's the interesting thing. So I've got an e-commerce site. Um, how do I actually find the, uh, the, the uh, checkout link? Um, the thing with an e-commerce site, so if you were trying to, you know, track those abandoned shopping carts, track those people that have checked out, advertise to people that have come to website uh, and, uh, um, sorry, advertise and, and, Include people that come to the website, exclude people that have checked out. Quite a few of the e-commerce sites uh, have the same URL link for their checkout page. So it might be marathongirlshop.com, uh, check out, dash, thank you, um, and then a unique ID number for each per purchase. So you want to set up the audience to, uh, and the keyword to be, you know, if, in that example, marathongirlshop.com forward slash uh, check out dash thank you okay but not use the unique id number for each purchase after that a um, lot, lot of the e-commerce sites work really really well with the facebook pixel shopify is, is integrated with the facebook uh, they're working really really well together so if you've got a shopify site um, you have a, a lot more power i actually use woocommerce and that works really really well with facebook as well um, some of the ones out there are, are, are less friendly but do contact your you know who you're doing um, the e-commerce platform that you use and contact the help desk there. They'll be able to help you. Uh, most e-commerce platforms out there know that retargeting and that goes on. They know that people need to be able to track people through the buying process. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, have I tried lead ads and how do they work? Good question. Okay. Uh, so, yes, Facebook does different types of targeting and ads. They're getting bringing out new ads all the time uh, or different ways of targeting people. Now, they have a new ad. Well, when I say new, it's still a few months uh, now. It's uh, lead ads. So it's where actually people can click and you can click your database straight from inside Facebook. So Facebook creates – They don't. the person doesn't have to go away to a website – uh, these are called lead ads. Uh, I have tried them before. Um, what I find with lead ads, so where they don't come to your website, where they just click, the, the form gets filled out inside Facebook for your free offer, is that you get a lot more people come onto your list. They're way less qualified though, okay? Um, you will find that if they have to go to your website and fill out the information, way, way, way more qualified. Not to say not to do it. My suggestion would spit test. You know, build a list 
um, in a separate list with lead ads, build a list in a separate list that have to come to your website and opt in, see which ones are most likely to convert. Excellent. So what I'm going to do, um, we've got a, quite a few people still on the webinar, um, but we're sort of running out of time here. Just want to run through again. Honestly, if you take advantage of this before the end of the webinar, uh, we're going to you get the Facebook ad secrets remarketing training, how to make fa sales from Facebook without spending a cent program, how to create a profitable Facebook business from scratch course, the one-on-one -on -one strategy session with me, the 12 months private mentoring, 12 video set, on how to use Facebook to grow your business, and of course, their action takers bonus, okay, all valued at over $10,000, so $10,483. You can get started today with one payment of $997, or you get the $297 tonight, and then three monthly payments of $297. Uh, you get one last chance, because I am about to wrap things up. Here is the link here. Um, <laughs> uh, usually, I get... Someone scrambling for their wallet. <laughs> it's going, wait, just don't eat it now. I'm getting my card. Uh, excellent. Okay. Awesome. So, hey, thank you so much for coming on the webinar this evening, team. Um, I am going to end it now. We are we are uh, getting later in the evening. Um, I will be, I have recorded this. If you do want a recording of this, uh, you know, I will be emailing it to you some stage, uh, some stage tomorrow. So uh, thank you very much. And I look forward to seeing some of you guys uh, and helping you set up your Facebook marketing. Thanks.